Hi everybody, this is Craig Tanner for the Mindful Eye and the photo of the week on the Daily Critique. This week's photo of the week was submitted by Lewis, who's an intermediate photographer from Maryland. Lewis says this image was taken off of a major highway exit ramp. I passed the area every day on my way to work and waited until the right moment on a rainy day in early spring to capture the image. With some tweaking in Lightroom, I feel like it conveys the beauty of early spring. Lewis shot this one with an Olympus E5 2014-40 zoom and an ISO 200 and F8 exposed the file for a thirtieth of a second. One of the first things that I wanted to mention here was just this idea that this is not a destination image. This is not the National Park or the State Park. This is something that was on the way. And I just really encourage you to think about cultivating a mindset uh, or a belief system where you start to um, more often than not honor this voice that really connects to something that's so powerful within all of us, just the sense of wonder, uh, a sense of appreciation, a sense of gratitude, a sense of being here, a sense of showing up, and to say yes uh, to these kinds of moments as photographers. So easy to see a scene like this and to think, I can't park on the exit ramp. This isn't really practical. This is just in the middle of nowhere. I will go to the state park or I'll go somewhere else and I see something else like this. And we all know that it doesn't work that way. That every moment is unique. Every moment is, is miraculous. It's, it's just amazing. And the more we can be here now and show up in our process, we're going to be on a practical level more creative. We're going to take more pictures. But I also think it really helps to grow a mindset where we we do start to become uh, more connected because we, we spend more time in states that are very empowering for us and bring us a lot of peace and joy, states of wonder, states of appreciation, states of gratitude. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention here that's very, very practical is just this idea of Lewis picking this particular moment. This is something he's passing. He's choosing this moment um, because it's rained. And what does the rain do for us? It comes in and creates a feeling of a very rich color and rich tone. There's things that are dark uh, that can take on water, start to get more saturated with the water. They get darker and they start to appear to be more rich. You're getting a real powerful sense of that, of the red uh, budding foliage that's close and also the darker branches uh, that are close. This is such a beautiful image at the level of color. So another practical thing that we can talk about is the beautiful complementary color pair of red and green. Um, I'm, I'm loving that. Red and green are color opposites uh, uh, from the painting color wheel. Warm colors feel like they're coming towards us. Cool colors recedes. It starts to create an illusion of three dimensions that the viewer can move through the image. Another really beautiful color theory thing here is that red plays very beautifully with black. You get a strong sense of black in these branches. And we even move in those light green areas to areas that are so bright that they start to feel white. And red also plays well with white red, white, and black. Real powerful triad of color ideas. The other thing that I'm really enjoying about color in this image is I get a sense of color separating. What do I mean by that? I get a sense that there's a primary red here and then I move into another area that is very dark and in some of these shadow areas there's more of a sort of a blue or cool feeling and then I get to some areas that feel like pure black. I get to some of these whites that get so bright that it feels like a pure white. Instead of having an overall color cast that ties all the colors together in a way that robs the image of depth, in this shot I get a real strong sense of the different colors separating and sort of being in their own space. And that, again, brings me back to this feeling of being able to, at the level of color, move through the image. The other thing I'm enjoying here that's very classical, basic idea in uh, visual design is one of the major diagonals being played here and also just a sense of a pattern of overall movement on diagonals in the same way that uh, color depth, color separation can create an illusion of being able to move through the image, these diagonals and uh, the contouring diagonal lines and also the implied movement in between in the background, the positive space shapes of the different shrubs and trees and also the negative space in between those positive space shapes. All of this diagonal movement, sort of undulating movement on diagonals, really starts to create a feeling of being able to move through. Another thing that I wanted to talk about today is that this image isn't just a pattern study, it's a tapestry study. It's very complex in terms of a field of visual information. And I love the subtlety 
that's been created here um, and another level of depth in this tapestry shot that's very deep with information and that these ideas that are close um, are sharp, but the ideas that are behind are just out of focus. This is more ethereal back here, but it's subtle. And I'm really loving what's happening here with either you know, just depth of field or depth of field and also Lewis's treatment. This is one where I'd be really curious to see what Lewis's just raw capture look like if he'd be willing to put up a link to that or share a small version of that file with us. And the other thing that I want to mention is, you know, the daily critique is an ongoing sort of basic to basic intermediate intermediate um, class in the theory of visual design and uh, really sort of honing our ability to describe why we feel a certain way about an image and I really believe that that helps us uh, in the process of composition. If we can verbalize it and then we can start to conceive and pre-visualize and at every level of the process it can really help us to see. So it's not about the right way to see, it's really more about developing the tools at the level of language to be able to think through when we want to do that work about our image. And we talk so much about simplifying. You know, we talk so much about uh, the, the potential power of just one subject um, and, and cleaning things up. This is another way of seeing that's uh, very complex. And, um, and so I just would encourage you, maybe as an assignment, and maybe this will be, let's say, the assignment um, for our community assignments, to try to shoot images like this where you are working with more information. This image is so compl complicated that for me I do finally just get to the point where I just say it just feels right. I can't, I can't really break the whole image down. I can just say that I don't want to change anything. It's not perfect from a pattern standpoint. Um, it, you know, it's really interesting. If I started to try and make it look like that then I might think about more of the dark branches down in here. But for me, just the way this is, uh, it feels uh, really beautiful. And, uh, and so I just wanted to mention that idea between the difference of simplicity and something that's more complex. Um, I'd really like to encourage all of you to, on the home page of the Mindful Eye, to scroll down to the bottom right hand corner and subscribe to our e-news. Um, we will let you know about the most recent content. We don't send out more than one email a week. And it'll also give you a chance to find out before anybody else um, about uh, TME events like workshops and weekends and a great time to subscribe is now because in just a couple of days we're going to be sending out an email an advance notice that will give you um, the dates for all of our workshops and all of our weekends in 2010. So we'd love to have you become an eNews subscriber. You can unsubscribe at any time. It's very easy to do that in an automatic way. Um, again, I want to say a huge thank you to Lewis for sharing this beautiful image with us and I want to say a big thank you to all of you for all of your support of the Mindful Eye. I hope you have a great weekend. Look forward to seeing you again real soon on the Mindful Eye.